In this video, I'm going to show you how to track wallets on Axiom Pro Trade. Now, this is an updated guide for 2025, so make sure to stay tuned. So, the first thing you'll need is an Axiom Pro account. There's a link down below in the description as well as in the pinned comment. And if you sign up using my link, you'll get a 10% discount on all trading fees forever. So, make sure you check it out. It's one of the best trading platforms, if not the best one for meme coins out there. It's packed with different features and it's getting constant updates. You have Twitter trackers, wallet trackers, etc. And you can get all of that for completely free. So make sure you check it out. Now to actually track wallets, it's quite simple. You can first click on the trackers up here and then you want to go to wallet manager top left and then you can just add a wallet in here. So let me show you how to actually do this. So I'm just going to go find a random wallet. Of course, you have to find a wallet you would actually like to track. I'm just going to find a random one over here. For example, um, a wallet that is holding this coin. I'm going to copy it. And then you want to go to trackers once you have your um, wallet copied. Uh, the wallet manager, add wallet, and then paste it in here. And then you can even give it a name and an emoji. So I'm just going to give it like a wallet one test or something like that. And then I'm going to change the emoji to, for example, an avocado. So then you want to click on add wallet. And as you can see, your wallet has now been added. What you can then do is you can basically enable or disable notifications. You can scan the address and you can remove it if you don't want to have it anymore. You can see what's going on with the wallet. Click in the live trades, there we go, and you can see different trades going on on that exact wallet. Now, what I would also like to show you, if you go to anywhere, so on any screen that you're currently at, like polls or something, you can click on wallet tracker down below, and this will basically pull up. Now, once this pulls up, you can just pin it to either the right of your screen, or if you, of course, want to do that, you can do to the light of your, left of your screen as well, and then you can make it bigger or smaller according to your own preferences. But if you don't want it pinned, because it makes the rest of your screen smaller, you can just have it like this, and it's basically going to overlap no matter where you are currently going or trading. And of course, you can make it smaller and bigger as well, if that's what you want to do. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.